hello this is mrs groves and today we're going to be covering notes on how to solve systems of linear equations by graphing the packet that you have is going to be broken into three videos okay the first video is going to be notes on how to solve systems that have one solution. The second video is going to be going through sample problems. And the third video is going to be uh, notes on special systems. So what you need right now is to make sure that you all have rulers and you're ready to pay attention to these notes and follow along with me. So you need to pause the video to get the rulers. First, we're going to go over some definitions. What is a system of linear equations? Here is an example. So a system of linear equations consists of two or more linear equations with the same variables. The example below has two equations, 3x minus y equals 5 and negative x plus 3y equals 1. So what you need to know is that systems consist of two or more linear equations with the same variables. And you know how to graph each of these. So now all it is is that you're going to be graphing these two lines on the same grid and then you'll get a solution. The solution of a system of linear equations is defined as solutions are the points x comma y. It could be one point or it could be many points where the two lines intersect. And in this Part of the video we're going to focus on systems that intersect at one point and have an ordered pair of XY. So this is an ordered pair. So before I have you graph a system, let's look at one right here. We have two equations. And if we took this equation right here and we put it into y equals mx plus b, okay, then we would have so we'll call this line 1, and if we put it into y equals mx plus b, it would be y equals 3x minus 5. And you know how to graph that. The y-intercepts at negative 5, you use slope of 3 over 1. You're all set. This is line two. And this right here is the graph of line two. And if we were to put that into y equals mx plus b, we would get y equals one third x plus one third. It would be an ugly line to graph, but this is just for an example. So now the question is, you want to find the solution. 
The solution is right there where the two lines intersect. The solution is the ordered pair 2 comma 1. So making sure that you understand definitions, the solution is the point of intersection. And we're going to abbreviate that POI, point of intersection. for the lines in the system. For this example, The POI is the ordered pair two comma one. Now, how do you check that that is correct? Always check the solution in both original equations. For example, we have our ordered point, we have our solution, and we know that that's 2 comma 1. And line 1 is 3x minus y equals 5, so we simply put in 2 for x and 1 for y, so 3 times 2 is 5, minus 1, excuse me, 3 times 2 is 6, minus 1 is 5, so 5 equals 5, this solution checks in the first linear equation. Now we go to line 2 and we check 2, 1. So now we have the negative, which means take the opposite of x plus 3 times the value of y, which is 1, equals 1. Negative 2 plus 3 equals 1, 1 equals 1, cha-ching. It checks. So now we will be doing an example together on the next page. Okay. 
And there are several steps. Step one. Step one is graph both equations in the same coordinate plane. For ease of graphing, you may want to write each equation in slope, intercept, which you remember is y equals mx plus So for our example, we're going to solve this system. And in this system, so we want to graph both equations. So let's take equation one. Okay. And equation one is 3x plus y equals 9. Now, you're saying to yourself, I could put this in y equals mx plus b, or I could use x and y intercepts because it's in standard form. You can graph it using any method you want. So we take 3x equals 9, so our x-intercept is going to be 3. So we can plot that here, 1, 2, there's our x-intercept. Okay, so remember this ordered pair right here is 3, 0. Find the y-intercept, we cover up the x because x is 0, and we get the y-intercept is 9. Okay, so the y-intercept, we come up here, 9. And there's the y-intercept. And just as a review, that ordered pair is going to be 0, 9. And this is just simply a review of graphing. So I have my first line. Now I have to graph my second line. So equation 2 is negative x plus y equals 1. And in this case, let's review putting in y equals mx plus b. All we have to do is add x, add x. You get y equals x plus 1. This is y equals mx plus b. The number in front of the x is our slope, so the slope is 1 over 1, and the y-intercept is 1. So in this case, the y-intercept is here at 1, and I'm going to be using slope up one, over one, up one, over one, and fantastic, it hit the other line. So I draw that line, and I have a point of intersection. 
So step two is to estimate the coordinates of the point of intersection, which we're going to call POI. So step two is estimate the point of intersection. The two lines appear to intersect. Take a moment, see if you get it. X is 2, so they intersect at 2, 3. 2, 3. That is the solution. So now we're off to step three. This one's always your favorite. Step three is we are going to check the coordinates algebraically by substituting into each equation of the original linear system. You get that? So we're checking. So ch step three, we're checking whether this ordered pair 2, 3 is a solution to equation 1, and it has to be a solution to equation 2. So we're going to substitute 2 for x and 3 for y. So 3 times 2 plus 3. What's the left hand side? 3 times 2 is 6 plus 3. 9 equals 9. Cha-ching, it checks. Now we're going to check equation 2. We have to take the opposite of x, which is 2, plus y, which is 3. We add them. 1 equals 1, it checks. So, because 2, 3 is a solution to each equation in the original linear system, it is a solution to our system. So in summary, first thing we do is we pick a method to graph each of the equations, find where they intersect, intersect, and then we check in both original equations. So here are some examples. I'm going to do the first one with you. You're going to complete these notes for homework. So I'm going to let you, after we do the first one, I'll give you 10 minutes to work on the next three. And if you don't finish them, you can go to my website and get the answers, or you can watch this YouTube video and it will walk you through how to do the other three problems.
Are you ready? Here we go. So, I look at this equation and I say to myself, wow, this would be easy to solve with x and y intercepts. The x-intercept, I cover this. x-intercept is 3. The y-intercept is 6. I'm going to plot those points for line 1. So x is at 3. Y is at 6. Graph the line. Then I'm going to do line 2. Line 2, I'm going to put it into Y equals MX plus B. So I have 2x minus y equals negative 10. I have to isolate y. I subtract 2x. Subtract 2x. Get negative y equals negative 2x minus 10. And then I divide everything by negative 1. And I get y equals 2x plus 10. So now the y-intercept is at 10. I can't go up 2 and over 1. So I'm going to go down 2 over 1. And I'm really happy because it hits down 2 over 1, but don't forget you must graph the line. And when I graphed, okay, the solution, you just write it as an ordered pair. The solution is negative 1, So now, I'm going to check the solution in both of the original equations. So I'm going to check the first one. 2 times y, which is 8, plus 4 times negative 1 is 12. Okay, 16 minus 4. 12 equals 12, cha-ching, it checks. Okay, I'm going to check the next one. Put little C's in front of it so that I know that this is the first line and this is the second. Second one is 2 times x, which is negative 1, minus 8 is negative 10. Negative 2 minus 8, negative 10 equals negative 10. Cha-ching, it checks. So that's how to solve the system. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on these silently. And you're going to work on them at your seats you get stuck, you can look at um, my problems as I'm doing them, but try to do them on your own. So now I'm going to do number two. You do number two. And as always, you might find a mistake that I've done, and hopefully I'll figure it out before I go on to the next problem.
had a little issue there with the sun coming in the window. I think you can see that better. Ah, I've already caught a mistake that I made right here. This should be negative 2x. I actually think that it's easier when you're graphing systems to put them into y equals mx plus b. So if I took the second equation, I'm going to do it both ways. Okay, so number two, the solution is two, negative one.
All right, so there's the answer to number three. And number four. This one's easy. It's already in y equals mx plus b for me. So for number four, I think it's at negative two, negative four. That's the solution. Check them. All right, so that's the answer to number four, and that's the end of the first of three parts to uh, this set of notes. Take a break, and I'll be back soon.